floppy disk drives. Besides cartridges and cards, Sega wanted the master system to be able to read floppy disks. The peripheral would be attached to the bottom of the console. In some versions of the master system, it is still possible to see traces of the port and remaining holes from this compatibility. Although floppy disks could offer greater storage capacity, they had a slower read time and a considerable rate of read errors. At that time, the production cost of floppy disks was higher than that of cartridges, making it unfeasible to proceed, ultimately leading to the discontinuation of the project without ever being released. The floppy disk drive for the Mega Drive was developed by Sony and widely advertised during its development. The project progressed, and later prototypes even received the text FDD printed in golden letters on the top. The floppy disks had a proprietary format, similar to Nintendo's Famicom Disk System, and did not adhere to the larger, traditional formats of that time. The peripheral was inserted into the expansion port of the Mega Drive, located on the right side of the system. Exactly the same port that would later be used for the Mega CD. Sega had to prioritize only one hardware, as both could not coexist. Due to production costs, fragility of the media, piracy concerns, and to follow market trends, they ultimately killed the project and heavily invested in a CD reader instead of floppy disks. Even the Saturn received its own floppy disk drive. This time, a peripheral successfully moved beyond the prototype stage and was released on the market. In 1996, it hit the shelves for around $90. The floppy disk drive was connected to the rear port of the console but required its own power cable. It served as a memory card, recording game progress data with storage space equivalent to 50 times the internal capacity of the Saturn. Included in the box was a CD with software for managing the data contained on the floppy disk. This peripheral was planned from the early stages of Saturn's creation, with its documentation even included in development kits. Unfortunately, it had a late release and limited support, along with a lack of support from game development companies. Only 21 games were officially compatible. The Sega itself ignored its existence, leaving it out of lists of available peripherals. Sega also released external storage in the form of cartridges for the Saturn, and despite having lower capacity, it became more popular in the standard method for saving games, bidding farewell to the floppy disk drive. <laughs>